this year and draw Godzilla. Yeah, we're gonna draw a cartoon Godzilla. We hope you're gonna follow along. It's gonna be a lot of fun. You ready to start? Yes. Let's first start with Godzilla's eye. We're gonna draw it over here in the top left of our paper so that we have room for his body and also his tail coming down here. So let's start here and we're gonna draw a circle like that. And we're gonna draw the side view of Godzilla. So we're only drawing one eye. And then let's draw a smaller circle inside to make the eye look shiny and color in the big circle, but leave that little circle white. Anytime we go too fast or speed up the video, what can our art friends do? Pause the video. Yeah, for more time. Now let's draw his mouth. We're gonna start right here. We're gonna draw his nose actually coming out like this, and then we're gonna come back in. Yes, and then we're gonna draw it curving around like this and coming back forward. Then let's draw his chin coming back into his body and we can stop, maybe there, we'll go a little past the eye. We could also add a little zigzag at the end. And let's add some teeth. We're gonna draw two teeth on top. He has a lot more, but since we're drawing a cartoon version, we can draw just a couple. <laughs> Let's add two down on the bottom also. Yeah. Now we could also, let's give him a nostril. And then let's draw the top of his head. We're gonna start here. We're gonna go over his eye and then we're gonna come down and then we're gonna come diagonal towards the bottom right corner. And then right here, let's curve up for the tail. We're gonna keep it kind of short and cartoonish. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, now let's draw his first arm. We're gonna start here and we're gonna draw it coming forward. We're just gonna draw a simple letter U, but it's diagonal, it's tipped. Then we can draw, let's draw little claws. I'm gonna draw one, two, and three. Nice, now let's draw his belly. And we're gonna start here and we can draw it behind his arm or if you have more space, you could draw it all the way in front of his arm. But I'm gonna imagine it going behind the claws. Then we're gonna come down like this and we're gonna come down further like that. Yes, <laughs> he's looking awesome. My mouth is so big. <laughs> <laughs> I love how big your Godzilla mouth is. B the bigger the better. Yes. Then we're gonna draw his leg. We're gonna draw a curve inside of his body and we're gonna connect to the belly. Then we're gonna come forward. Then we're gonna come back and curve up for the heel. Then let's draw a curve that comes out from his heel. We're gonna come towards his back and then connect into his back. Down here at the bottom, let's draw his claws. We're gonna draw a curve coming in and down. Then we're gonna draw two lines going the other way for his talons or claws. Yes, now let's add the rest of his tail. We're gonna start here. We're gonna imagine the belly going through his foot starting here and we're gonna come up. We're gonna curve up like this towards the other line and then curve in and connect. <laughs> All right, now let's make him look more 3D. We're gonna add his other arm. Let's draw a letter U coming out and then back into his belly. Then we can draw the talons or claws. One, two, three to match his other arm. And then let's draw his other leg. We're gonna match this line, but we're only drawing part of it since it's behind his belly. And then we're gonna draw the foot coming forward. Then we're gonna curve back for the bottom of the foot. And depending on how much space you have here, you can just connect it into the foot. Yeah, and then let's draw the talons. We'll draw that same curve that we drew over here. And then we'll draw, I'm going a little faster since we're repeating. We'll draw two curves going the other way for the individual toes. Yeah. What's he missing? His spikes on his back. Yeah, let's do it. We'll draw, one up here, I'm gonna draw a small spike and then a big spike. 
And then let's draw more spikes, maybe a small one, a bigger one, and then maybe a small one. I'm gonna draw another one just like that. Small, big, and then another small one. Then we're gonna add one little spike down here on the bottom of the tail. Then we can also add little spikes in between these other ones. There we go. Oh, and we could also make him a little more angry. <laughs> Let's also draw a belly line right here. We're gonna come across and then connect to his arm. Then we're gonna imagine that going behind his arm and then connecting to his leg. And then we're gonna imagine it going behind his leg, coming out here and connecting to the outside of the tail. We did it, we finished drawing Godzilla, except we still need to color it. Yeah, this is my favorite part and we are gonna fast forward. So remember to pause the video and take time to color your drawings. You could also add a background. Maybe he's going through a city and destroying it. Yeah. <laughs> you ready to speed things up? Yeah. Austin, we did it. We finished drawing and coloring Godzilla and he looks so much better colored in. Yes. I hope our friends will take time to color their drawings. We used our markers to color with, but you can use whatever you have at home or in the classroom, like colored pencils, crayons, or maybe even... Oil pastels. Oh yeah, that would be really cool. You could also draw like his fire laser beam that comes out of his mouth. That would be awesome. And I love that we colored the spikes blue. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing Godzilla. We do, we hope you had a lot of fun. And remember, it's okay if your drawings look different than ours. Both of our drawings don't look exactly the same, but they both turn out awesome. Yeah. The most important thing is... To have fun. Yeah, and to... Practice. Practice. Remember to have fun and practice. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.